In developing countries and areas like Africa and India, around 30 to 40% of their medicine is counterfeit medicine, basically not authentic or fraud medicine. And this $30 billion industry is only expected to grow and causes around 1.5 million deaths around our world annually. That is crazy because basically 10 out of every 100 medicine that is out there right now is not authentic or not properly sourced. My name is Alishba and I've developed an application called Honest Blocks, which hopes to create more transparency, collaboration, and solve an important issue within our healthcare system, counterfeiting. Companies like IBM and Oracle are already starting to tackle these issues on their own, but I wanted to see how I could not only solve this important issue using blockchain, but also create a more collaborative platform for patients to be able to manage and track their records. The project I built was on Hyperledger Fabric, which is essentially an open source blockchain framework. Blockchains are basically distributed ledger, uh, which have a different approach to them from traditional databases because all of their records are essentially decentralized. There is no single point of failure for the data storage and the ledger is synchronized across the network, which in this case compromises of manufacturers, distributors, pharmacies, hospitals, and authorities. The process of keeping the ledger up to date with all the parties in agreement is through Hyperledger Fabric's process of consensus. This includes ordering of transactions or transfers of medication and participating peers on the network to agree on and commit changes to the ledger. Fabric also allows for the creation of channels, which allows for a group of participants to create portion ledgers for transactions. This allows for commercial um, entities who may want to pay or charge different prices depending on the clients and their products to be able to do so. Basically, the application is filled with individual database populated with some example drug packets. For each patient in medicine, the manufacturer, ID number of a particular drug packet, timestamp of when it was added to the ledger and current holder, as well as location are noted. Each time we add a packet to the registry and Hyperledger is able to uh, generate a unique transaction ID for this event. You are able to change the holder. In this case, it could be from a pharmacy chain to, let's say, a doctor's office. And essentially, a new transaction ID is again created. In real life, the real self product itself would have a ID or a RFID tag attached to it, which would be attached to the virtual blockchain ID and would be tracked through the supply chain and verified along. Um, once the, it's reached to the consumer, it would be recycled. The industry of counterfeit medicine is expected to reach a point where it will start growing at twice the rate of legitimate medicine. Why are we not doing something about this? But with products like IBM and Oracle, there's hope. And with products and applications like Audis Blocks, we can finally put an end to a growing industry that has been ignored for so long.